Hi, I'm Nerida Conway and welcome to ChefMasterclass.com. So excited! Yay! I've got a female chef who's one. amazing, the first one. <laughs> it's very nice to be so here. So welcome! Thank you. Oh, I'm so wrapped to have you here. This is beautiful Lauren Murdoch from Felix in Hi. Sydney. And I've had Lauren's food a couple of times. I've been very lucky to try it out. Actually, when you were at Ash Street Cellars. Yeah, just across the laneway, but yeah. still very close. Yeah, very close. And absolutely beautiful array of tappers and all kinds of different things. What's your favourite on your menu at the moment? Um, I think one of my favourites would be the tripe. It's very yeah. good. Um, it's Not everyone has it, but I think it's hopefully one of the best in Sydney, I think. Yeah, um, oh, I'll have to try that. The yeah. last tripe I had was cooked by my poor Nana, who's now no longer with us. Yeah. And she used to serve it with a white parsley sauce. I've never had that. Yeah, I've only had quite, the Leonese. It was quite bland and I wasn't yeah. a fan. But I was about five or six. Yeah. So anything that didn't look like a chip <laughs> was not going to work for me, I think, yeah. at five. Yeah. So yeah, mine's are Leonese, so it's caramelised onions with some jus and some Lovely. tomato and herbs and things. So it's Beautiful. very nice. Now today you're going to show me about crepinette. 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 Um, also called call, yep. C-A-U-L. It's call, yep. This has been a learning experience for me because Lauren <laughs> asked me to get her some. And I thought, oh my gosh, what is it and where does one get it? Yeah. Turns out a lot of butchers have it. Yeah. yeah it so is, but normally you get it in frozen because it doesn't last very long. Right. Um, but basically it's the lining of the pig's stomach. So it's a very thin sort of net it's kind of thing. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? I know, you I think it's lovely. You paper with it in your house. It's almost like a Lady Gaga outfit <laughs> in a way. <laughs> if she discovers this, <laughs> I I'll tell you. So yeah, so basically we make little parcels. Crepinette is a, a bundle. Yeah. Um, in the English term it's called a uh, faggot. Yeah. Um, so we use the French term, crepinette. So Much nicer. Some, yes, that's right. But it's beautiful. It does actually have a very nice flavour. Yeah. So you've got these little membranes of fat yeah. and then it's, yeah, basically it's a, it's a freestyle sort of sausage casing. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And when you cook it, um, what happens to it? It slightly it melts around the outside and goes a very nice golden sort of colour. Right, but doesn't all melt away to nothing? It depends. No, it melts a lot of it. No, not to nothing. Yeah, so, so it still, still holds yeah, it in like place. Like a sausage casing, Right, basically. and you can't yeah. taste it. There's no flavour or anything. There is a flavour, but it's not... It's a sort of nice, rich, yeah. sort of roasted kind of flavour. Excellent. It's not, not offensive or unusual, yeah. but it's good. Give me an example of what else you could use it for and what you could do with it at home. Um, at home, you could use it for, it's really good for leftovers, so it's yeah. about doing leftover turkey dish, yeah. um, which is the turkey crepinettes with pea puree and spring Yum. onions, Can't which wait. is great. But um, I've also done it with uh, pork belly, chicken, duck. What about leftover lamb? Left like lamb yeah, roast. it's fantastic. Also really good for making terrines. You can line the terrine ah. mould with it instead of using bacon. Yeah. Or, um, you know, bacon, yum. Sliced fat. But yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's really good. It does break down, but it's, yeah. it's very fantastic. Fantastic. Product. Well, if you go and watch the masterclass now that Lauren's about to do for us, your turkey crepinettes with pea puree and spring onions. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to say it with authority. Yeah. Um, then you'll see Lauren using it and um, then you can go out and get it and just ask your butcher. Now, you, it, this had to be pre-soaked. Yeah, sometimes, it can, this is actually a really good one, but sometimes it does have a little bit of a blood in it. Not okay. much, just a, it's quite pink. Yeah. So you just change the water a couple of times, maybe overnight is normally enough, okay. cold water. But yeah, just Great. to drain it off. But this is actually very nice. And the butcher did that. So we just picked it up already soaked and ready yeah. to go. We just rang ahead and ordered it. So you can do that as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lauren. Oh, it's awesome to meet you. Awesome to have girl power. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and I can't wait to um, see your turkey dish. Cool. Thanks. Let's go.